when I look at survivors of domestic violence, sexual violence, hate violence, I see courage in them. One of my guiding principles in life is that if there is somebody in the room who is being marginalized, if there's somebody in the room who is being harmed, to dig deep for the courage and help that person, ask them if they would like you to speak out on their behalf or just stand up to a bully. Um, my gui that's, that's been a guiding principle in my work too, is just who's the furthest from justice? And I wanna look at the people who are furthest from justice and give them attention. So one of my proudest moments career-wise was the passage of um, protections for transgender and non-binary people in the city of Appleton when we live in a state where we're, trans people are still not covered by the law and it has to be through municipalities. So that's one of my proudest work things. I think my proudest moment in life in general is just coming out. The fact that I came out because that wasn't anything that I thought I would be able to do ever. If you have a dream, stay persistent with that. And in the nonprofit world, that means don't give up after the first funder turns you down or the second or the third. It took about nine years before I was able to get the funding that we needed to start an anti-violence program in Appleton. Um, and if I had given up all those years ago, we wouldn't have what we have today. So just ask for what you need, keep dreaming, and dream bigger.